to your scheduling for 11th or 12th grade. I'm Mrs. Carabelli, I'm one year counselors here, and I have the alphabet PL through Z. So we have a side presentation for you, and hopefully by the end you all have very many questions, but if you do, then we will be meeting with you the week of March 19th. Please note that this presentation is very important, so please go through it um, and we'll have it scheduled for you so that you can go through it each time um, more than once and that your questions can get answered. Items you should have with you. From the website, you'll be able to get your course selection guide, the copy of your unofficial transcript, which Mrs. Driscoll has uploaded to your Naviance account. To get to your Naviance account, you need to go into the About Me, My Stuff, and My Document. And then there should be your mid-year transcript for you. Your scheduling sheet, you will need to fill out. You can do that, um, pull that up from the website. That is not something you need to turn in anymore. You will be able to fill that out and then have that to go put in your schedule. Here's a list of the requirements that are needed for you for graduation. You'll need four years of English, four years of mathematics, one year of Visual Fine and Performing Arts, or VPAA, three credits of Social Studies, three credits of Science, I have a credit of PE, I have a credit of Health, which is the M010 credit, and two credits towards your World Languages. Then you have four credits of electives. So the total required credits are 22. The total possible credits would be 24 because you take six credits each year. So majority of you will have more than what you need for graduation at the end. What is a visual fine performing arts credit? Some of those classes include all our art classes, our band, choir, and theater. Anything in um, these classes can be found in the English department, the English or speech communications one and two, journalism. You can find under um, foods, foods and nutrition can count under the life skills classes and most business classes. Also, any of our share time classes can be found. Anything with a B code will count towards a visual from a performing art credit. And you can find that in your course selection guide. For English, as I said, you must take four credits of English. So as an 11th grader or 12th grader, you can choose the English 11 or 12, or if you want to, in place of the English 11 or 12, you can do the AP English 11 or 12. If you are in the EL program, you will need to talk to your EL teacher for assistance with next year's selections. If you're in IEP or co-taught English, you need to check with your caseload teacher for information and to what class you need to be put into. Social studies. You need three credits for graduation, the U.S. history or an AP U.S. history. The world's history, um, which is has geography as well, or the AP world history. Half a credit of government, or you take the one credit of AP government. Half will go towards your government credit. Half will go towards your electives. And economics, which is a half a credit. Or you can choose to do... AP macro half credit or and or AP micro half credit. The extra ones will go down to your electives. Science credits. You can choose for graduation. Three credits are required. And they are biology, chemistry or physics, and additional science, which could be a physical science, environmental science, physiology, or any other science class. Mathematics, you must take in 
in all four years of mathematics class. What is required of you is geometry, algebra one, and algebra two. You must keep in mind that these codes are all um, in your course selection guide under the M, but you must take a math or math related course in your senior year for those of you who are seniors. It all depends what you've taken so far as to what math class you need to take next. Please make sure that you on your transcript that you have take and pass both semesters, the A and the B of geometry, algebra one and algebra two. Also so that you're aware, most colleges don't accept the math related class as a math class or core classes. If your college requires you to have four years of a math, you must take a class under the math curriculum. Mrs. Bronski, would you like to go? Sure. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bronski. I am a counselor for students with the last names beginning with the letters G through K A. So I'm going to continue where Mrs. Caraballi left off. Um, the next requirements you'll need to consider are your PE and health requirements. And you are required to take one gym class and one health class um, as part of your graduation requirements. Mrs. Caraballi, can you click, click, keep clicking? Yeah. Thank you. All right, um, any gym class will count for half credit and your health course, um, the only class that counts toward your health credit is the M010 class and that is a half credit as well. So please, no other classes that you would have taken in seventh, eighth grade count as that health credit. It has to be M010. Um, if you have not taken these classes yet, you really should schedule them early on to get them out of the way. Um, you do have the option of flexing out of your PE credit if you have two seasons of a school sanctioned sport or marching band. Um, if you do have those two seasons, you will need to get flex paperwork completed, um, signatures received from your coaches or band director, and they will be need, need to be submitted to the counseling office when they are done. Those forms are available on our website. Foreign language is another requirement. You're required to take two years of a foreign language. It needs to be the same foreign language. So you cannot take one year of French and one year of Spanish. It has to be two years of the same language. Um, if you take one year of a foreign language um, and decide that it is something you are really struggling with, there is the option of flexing out of the second credit by taking an extra VPAA credit, which Mrs. Carabelli already talked about. Um, you have to fill out a flex form, have it signed and turn it into your counselor that's available on the website. One thing to note is that if you are applying to a competitive four year university, they will be looking for two years of a foreign language. So definitely pay attention to that when you're considering uh, flexing out of the second year. Um, finally, we have our electives. Um, and as Mrs. Carabelli said earlier, if you take extra um, science, social studies, math classes beyond the requirements, they automatically count toward your electives. But uh, a true elective would be something like psychology. Um, it would be something like art or um, an extra gym class. Uh, there are classes where you have already met your requirements and these classes don't count toward those requirements. Um, for example, like it says, psychology is an elective, but algebra is not. That is a core class, that is a requirement. Um, if you have any failed classes, you may need to reschedule them in your schedule if they are available at Utica High School. Um, for example, if you failed um, geometry or algebra one, um, if you if they are available next year, you could schedule them into your schedule at Utica. However, certain courses are not offered at Utica. English nine is a good example of that. We do not offer English 9 at Utica, so that would need to be made up in summer school or credit recovery. Um, and it is a graduation requirement, so it would need to be made up. However, like it says here, if you failed history, US history, you could add it into your schedule for next year. Please check your transcript, which is available to you in Naviance. Um, please check your transcript to see if you have failed any required courses. Uh, 
Um, again, as I mentioned, credit recovery options, any core classes, math, science, uh, history, English, foreign language, you will need to figure out how to make up. And your options are either to fit it into your schedule if it's available, um, fit it into your schedule for next year, or you will need to do credit recovery, which is offered each semester after school at Utica High or summer school. Um, you are gonna be meeting with your counselors with us um, during the week of April 19th, so you can discuss these different options. Um, again, when you're making your schedule, just remember you cannot be guaranteed any of the classes that you request. So you need to make sure that you choose six alternatives, um, additional classes to complete your schedule. Um, the credits on your schedule have to add up to six credits. It's important too that when you're doing those alternates that you don't put down classes you had in your original schedule. Um, what will happen is if those classes that you really wanted are not available, we will go down to your alternates and we will put them in your schedule. So you need to make sure that you have enough there so that we don't just have to choose classes for you. Um, again, just keep in mind the credits need to add up to six. Um, shared time courses are another option. Uh, they are classes that focus on a specific vocation or career track. So they're preparing you for a specific job. Um, a few courses are offered here at Utica, but others are offered at Ford, Ike, and Stevenson. So it's important to remember that if you sign up for a shared time class and if you get that class, um, you may be traveling to a different building, um, usually during your lunch hour. So typically lunch will not be eaten in the cafeteria. It will be eaten as part of that that class. Um, examples, again, auto, machine shop, CTE, welding. Um, some of these classes you may put down on your schedule. They might not end up being offered next year, so it's really important that you put down all. Um, our co-op school to work program, you can apply as a junior or senior to work at a job to gain experience. So you'll be learning as you, you work, but you'll also be earning high school credit and a grade for that class. Um, in order to apply, you have to have a 2.0 or higher GPA. You must have really good attendance, no disciplinary record, and you must have your own transportation, which is key. Um, if you are interested in doing this, it's important that you have your credits that you need to graduate. So you really need to take a look at your uh, transcript. If you have classes that you're making up because you failed, this might not work in your schedule. Um, if you are interested, please scan the QR code and fill out Mrs. Lolito's application. Mrs. L Mrs. Lolito is located in the counseling office and uh, in the Career Center, and you can talk to her with any of your questions. Um, in terms of AP and accelerated and honors courses, um, these selections that you make are what determine your schedule for next year. Uh, it is possible that if you are signing up for multiple AP honors classes, they might not all fit into your schedule. So again, really important that you have alternates down that you actually want to take. Um, if you do decide to take AP classes, counselors will not be able to change your schedule in the fall. Okay, you will need to sign the AP form. There's an AP commitment form that you'll need to sign and return to Mrs. Driscoll, basically saying that you are committing to being in that AP class for the year. So it's important that you talk to your current teachers um, to make sure that that placement is one that will be good for you. Talk to your parents, make sure that they're on the same page with you. Um, and you really wanna do some research to figure out what that class is all about. Most AP classes move quicker. There is an AP test offered at the end where you can get college credit, but you will need to sign that AP commitment form and submit it, um, and then you will not be able to change your schedule in the fall. All right, Mrs. Carabelli, you wanna take sure, it yeah. back? So how do you figure out what classes to take? You're gonna use your transcript and you're going to use the UCS graduation requirement form to check out the classes you've already passed. The next slide will show you what I'm talking about with the, the graduation form. Um, that also can, these forms can be found at the website as well. Um, the classes that are left over on your sheet will be the ones that you need to fit in before you're able to graduate. So here's the form I was referring to. So what we do is if you 
you'll look at your transcript and you'll say English 9, and then you'll go through and check off the different box, first semester, second semester. You need to make sure that it has both A and B for each of these classes because it's for the full year. Um, if you didn't pass one of the semesters, then you will just like circle the area to know that you have to go back um, and make that up and or you make it up along the way and you'll check it off. On the sheet there for English 11, it shows um, checked off first semester English 11 and I'm in semester one, second semester right now. I, I usually put an N down there to show now. And then the senior, I have that down that I'm going to be taking that in my senior year. So this is a junior review junior sheet here that checked things off. Um, so again, if if everything's checked off and you have everything located, then you should have your 22 um, credits needed for graduation. Here's a senior schedule right now. So um, this is what we have at the website. You'll be able to go through and look at it so you can see and make sure you have all the right classes in there. So you choose, you can check off your English, English 12, your um, math course that you need to do and um and in that math course you have um you can choose a math related course or those are the math courses at the top so if you choose a math related course you need to put that on the line down below here then you put in the other three um other four classes of electives that you want to do so um and for example we have ap french ap psychology um, and if you're taking AP classes, again, the AP um, commitment form needs to be signed. Then you have MS Office. Conditioning for Athlete is a half semester class. So you have another half semester class on there too for first aid. At the bottom too, we have the half semester classes. Oops, I'm a little spelling error there, but you spell it out as best you can. And um, make sure if it is two half semester classes, you put two classes down for each line. Each line is considered a full year course. For those of you who are juniors, I have a sample junior schedule for you as well. Kind of the same kind of thing. Um, juniors get to choose two electives on their schedule. And so you have your English, your social studies, your science, and your math class. Then you get to choose your two electives and you have to put down your classes, four different classes at the bottom there to show which ones you're going to take as alternates if these classes don't work. Please do not put the same kind of classes you have up here, down here at the bottom for your alternate. Um, it will cause problems for you and we'll have to be talking to you to change their schedule. Here's a sample of what it will look like on the computer. You will go through each different spot and decide and put in what you want and then it'll check it off to say that you have it complete. If there is a red line there, that means you didn't fill in enough um, credits along the way possibly. So check that out as you go through when you start putting your schedule into the computer. Here's also for the juniors a sample of what it would look like for them. When doing your schedule, talk to the teachers you have right now, talk to your friends, and talk to your family to make your choices for classes, because it's going to be very difficult for us to make some changes in the fall. Look through the course selection guide to pick your electives. You must choose a total of at least four credits, so four four-year classes or a combination of full year and half year classes to make four credits altogether. This is your responsibility, the schedule here. Make sure this is complete. And how do you know if your schedule is complete? You're gonna have the, the class, six classes at the top and the left is at the bottom. And you need to input it into the computer by Friday, April 16th. What do I mean by complete? Again, make sure you have those six credits and alternate classes. Make sure you're taking a picture of your schedule because a lot of times once you turn in your schedule, it's done. So take a picture of it so that you know what you've taken along the way. And you signed up for, and if you've signed up for any AP class, you have a form that's filled out and sent to Mrs. Driscoll, our counseling secretary. Mrs. Carabelli, I'd like to interject just real quick. Um, where it says signatures, guys, you do not need signatures unless um, we're doing the AP classes, in which case that form is there. So don't worry about the signatures okay. part.
Okay, so here's our counseling breakdown as of this time. Um, we have Dr. Krolchek, who at the beginning of the alphabet, A through F. This is, goes by your last name. Mrs. Bronski has G through KA. Dr. Perry has KE through P, um, PI and all the AVID kids. And then I have the kids with PL through Z. So please, if you have questions or concerns, you'll be able to email your counselors, but we will be meeting with you in April on April 19th. That week of April 19th, we'll meet with you individually to go over your schedule with you. So we are here to help you. Please um, ask questions of your teachers, ask, talk to your friends and talk to your parents to figure out what you need to do. And we'll make sure you get your schedule in for next year. Thank you so much. Thank and you. Have a great day.